These mini pavlovas are so easy to make. Crispy outer shell, marshmallowy inside and they're topped with white chocolate whipped cream and drunken raspberries. That's right, those raspberries are covered in a gorgeous sweet rosé wine reduction. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now, sponsors for videos are the way that creators actually are able to continue creating videos. So it's important you guys listen up to today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills in pretty much anything you like. One of my fellow YouTube bakers, Laurie from The Icing Artist, who I absolutely adore, has a class on Skillshare and she takes you through how to decorate cakes, cookies, and just like loads of fun stuff. And the class is really easy to follow as well because she's really great at what she does. And that's what Skillshare is all about. So whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. This is the really, really cool part. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And there are loads and loads of classes on there that you can have complete access to. And then after that, it's only $10 per month. So a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and thank you to you guys for listening to the sponsor so that I can continue making these videos. Let's begin with the mini pavlovas. You want to make sure that your bowl is really, really clean. And one way to do that is to actually wipe it down with regular white vinegar. This is going to help your eggs whip up much better. Add your egg whites to your clean bowl and I'm going to be using my stand mixer today fitted with a whisk attachment. We're going to whip this up for about a minute until it's nice and frothy before we start slowly adding the sugar. You want to add the sugar really slowly to give it time to dissolve in the meringue mixture. That way it actually bakes really nicely in the oven. One of the things that's going to give us that really delicious, gorgeous marshmallowy inside is mixing white vinegar with cornstarch, popping it in there and mixing it for the final 30 seconds that you mix. Once your meringue is nice and thick and glossy, we're ready to transfer these to our baking tray. Now, an easy way to make sure you're getting nice round pavlovas is to use a 10 centimeter cookie cutter dip the bottom of it into that meringue and then tap it on top of your baking tray. That way you're left with perfectly round templates so that you know how big your mini pavlovas will be. Spoon about three generous tablespoons full of that meringue onto your baking tray for each pavlova. Then you wanna spread it around with those two spoons and we're gonna kind of create a little bowl in the center. That's where our beautiful fillings are gonna sit. These are gonna go in the oven to bake for about an hour, and then once they're finished baking, let them cool completely in the oven. Let's move on to that gorgeous rosé wine reduction. Add some rosé wine to a saucepan along with some sugar. We're gonna let this simmer away for about 10 minutes, it's going to look really liquidy and it's not going to really thicken up very much. But once you let it cool, it'll get really syrupy and thick. Once it has cooled, you're going to pour it over a bowl of fresh raspberries and you're going to mix that together and set it aside. Let's move on to that white chocolate whipped cream. Add some white chocolate to a heat proof bowl along with some cream and you're going to microwave this until it's nice and smooth once you've mixed it together. It should take about one to one and a half minutes. Set this aside to cool completely at room temperature. Once it has, add some more whipped cream to a large mixing bowl, whip it to soft peaks, 
scrape down your bowl and add your cool down white chocolate ganache. Then you're going to whip the rest of this to stiff peaks. Our meringues baked beautifully. Now, might have cracks, but here's a little secret. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be covering these with delicious toppings. So you're not going to see those cracks anyway. To finish these off, you're going to add some of that white chocolate whipped cream and then dollop on those drunken raspberries. And guys, that's pretty much it. You can print this recipe over on my website, thescranline.com. Link for that is in the description box below. And if you want to see more recipes from me, make sure you click on one of the videos that's up on screen right now. I'm so glad that you guys joined me in my kitchen for this recipe. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.